Hello, hello, welcome to Mr. Eight. And in today's video, I will share you, uh, share with you how to use Pinflux Agency. If you don't know Pinflux Agency, it's basically a software that automate your work on uh, Pinterest. So if you have a Pinterest account, or you're willing to create a Pinterest account to share like your pictures or to promote your products, uh, your YouTube videos, etc., you can use this software to automate the process. So basically, you will spend like five, 10 minutes uh, the first time I like spent 10 30 minutes to set up the software you set up the pictures etc then you leave the software running 24 7 for like a month etc then you will be able to uh, have something similar to this I shared a lot of videos about this software in the past 12 uh, two years around and uh, a lot of you like the software and uh, trying to now to create more content fresh content as Dr. Farfar just released a latest uh, version of this software this software, you can buy it. You have to buy it. It's amazing software, but you can try it. You ha only have to do just search for Dr. Farfar and you can get your copy uh, to try it for free. So let's uh, start what we will need for this uh, software. So you can run it in your own computer. So if you have a computer, you can run it. But the thing is, you have to leave the software running 24 seven. So if you are okay, to leave the software 24 7 good if you don't want uh, you can leave it running for four hours five hours etc or be like me i have uh, an rdp this uh, rdp here and you leave it running 24 7 when you install it it's going to look like this and you have this window here add new account you can add your account here email password a, a window will pop up you have to confirm some stuff then you will uh, be able to log in. If you have multiple accounts, I highly recommend to use a proxy. You don't want to get this account banned and automatically others uh, get banned too because they have the same IP. If you need a proxy, I will give you a link in the description and you can get uh, 10 proxies for free. Second thing you need to do is when you log in, you need to add a board. Automatically, it won't load any board automatically. So you have to add manually boards. So you have, if you have boards, click Fetch Boards. It will load all the boards in your account. If you don't have any board, very simple. Just uh, add the board here. Login, uh, like username of the board, the name of the board. I don't know, uh, when, uh, Spring Pictures. Uh, my favorite Spring Pictures. Then you create add, create board. The board will be added here. Then again, you click Fetch Board, then Submit, and it will be added to the uh, account. And when you uh, have the board here, it will show somewhere like this. I have this board, then I have this board. And if you click here, it will take you automatically to Pinterest board. Or if you click in the middle, it will load the board. So we have two options, okay, to uh, submit pins. So we have the option one pin, which is the pins that are already published on Pinterest. So how you do this, you click Settings. Uh, and you have the add, uh, let me, let me, you can add the keyword like this. I won't recommend to use pins because these pins are already published on Pinterest. You may get some issues, some trouble, copyright issues, copyright trouble with Pinterest. So I don't recommend use pins, but I will explain it. So here you will automatically add the pins to the pending board uh, here here automatically it will go also here so it will be published after three hour and five hours here you add the keyword here you add the title description your url the url link and uh, honestly i don't know what is this one for so i will forget about it i never used it i think something when you add it to this version i don't know what it's for so we'll ignore it so basically i don't use this one okay I do use it because I don't want to get some copyright issues and it will get it for you. If you do this, if you use the pin option, automatically, likely, likely you will get some, uh, you get banned. What I highly recommend uh, you to use is use upload. If you use upload, means you have already pictures, okay, and you are going to upload them. You can get the pictures from Instagram, from Facebook, from the pixels, Pixabay. AI pictures, no worries about it, as you will have any uh, issues. Here, you have to enable this option, enable this option. If you have a new account, I highly recommend you put like four, okay. Do this, between three to five hours. Do not go like 30 minutes or 45 minutes and one hour, do not spend, do not send a lot, a lot of pins. You will get your account banned. It will shut down your account, especially if it's new because it's spam. 
it's a span thing. So my uh, G spot is here. I just like this. I publish between three and five hours, 24 seven. And here we have a title. You can set a title for your pin and description. And here you add the link. And here you select the images. I highly recommend you select 100 image at a time. Do not go over 100. Maybe, maybe likely you won't select. So if you do this and you click open, even though you have like 300, 400 selected, it won't save. It won't be added. So I highly recommend start with something like 100 each. Each time you select. Then you click save and all those pictures will go to the pending uh, rack here. So you have this tab has all the pending images uh, when you set up like this i highly recommend that you exit the software and enter again why uh, to, acti to activate to enable the scheduling sometimes it won't schedule it won't pin it won't share the pins so when you exit and enter it will definitely work and uh, you can automatically uh, leave it it will publish automatically or you can just click pin just to verify that your account is connected and you can go to Pinterest like this. And let's see. Yeah, here. And uh, you remember this one? So this one is the last pin. So we'll go here and do this. And I will come here. I will refresh. Boom, you see, it's working. So it means it's connected. What I'm going to do now, I will leave the software running. I will forget about it. Then I will move to the new account. So you can open, create multiple accounts. It's very, very important if you're willing to add a lot, a lot of accounts. You want to grow them, sell them again later. So you have to add proxy and you don't want to publish a lot. See, if you are going to, if you are planning to leave this one running 24 7 for the next two, three months, just publish maybe, maybe, uh, uh, between two hour to four hour don't publish every 30 minutes every 45 minutes it will get your account suspended because logically nobody is sitting there just think about it like you can't sit there 24 7 publish pins every uh, half an hour that means that something is off so you are using a, a software a bot and that's against pinterest uh, uh, like a term of service you cannot spam the platform so if you go somewhere like three to five it's going to be okay, it's going to be fine. Your account won't get suspended as long as you don't uh, change often or you play with it a lot. That's pretty much everything. See you on the next video.